It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 Jesus from the Big Easy to walk in your back to the showroom. And really bad. And here to give y'all a review on uh this weekend's past release, really, but before I do that, I'd like y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and definitely appreciate everybody who's been tuning in as of late. As always, and deeply appreciate y'all. Uh, if it sounds like I'm a little down a little bit, it's just simply because this was a busy weekend, Jazz Fest weekend, had a whole lot of things going on. So, uh, yeah, like, I'm just kind of spent for the most part. But, um, again, like I said, deeply appreciate y'all and everything. And as y'all can see, I got some cleaning up to do. I got everything you see over here is, like, Marvel Legend figures that... I forgot either where they came from or where they're going or whatever. Uh, in some vague universe, this is a serious problem. A serious problem. But in any case, got a shoe review, but just a little pickup. I did manage to pick up the White Ranger Lightning Collect, the Hasbro Lightning Collection, the White Ranger. The Dino, the Dino Charge Ranger, and my favorite, the Doggy Kruger. Definitely, definitely, definitely some dope figures. But enough about that. Uh, but again, let's get into the shoes right here. As y'all can see right here, we got an Air Jordan 4 box. Y'all should already know what release is. And I'll go with my gripes later. And as y'all can see, they changed the labeling on the four box. As y'all can see, Air Jordan 4 Retro. It doesn't say OG like it did on the past, on the past uh, OG4 model. As you can see, it has the unisex tagging on there. As you can see, size 11. Colorway is black, fire red, cement gray. Style code is 308-497. Color code 060. Retail on these was 200. So they put my real name on there. And uh, Foot Locker is, and if you haven't noticed, Foot Locker champs, Foot Action, they're all changing their tags. All of them have a universal tag now, so it don't say the CHM or the FAT or the FL or the FLT or I mean FTL on there. They have a universal sticker on there now. So getting to it. my only gripe is they gave me a dent box i hate when they do that like they purposely give you a dent box and if you're a reseller like this is this is the thing sometimes they do that all shit on purpose but see what they got on the inside no qc on the on the top right here black got a black uh plastic paper it's a shoe by millions? No, Mars. No, then what is it? It's because he's got the new Air Jordans, Mars. Oh, sweat. Oh, sweat. Oh, sweat. Mr. Nike, you gotta hook me up. Please, baby, please, baby, please, baby, 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 please. Damn. As y'all can see, the Air Jordan 4 OG Black Cement Bread Let's get into this nickname thing. I am old enough to remember when they just called these the, these the shot fours. Not bread fours, not cement fours, the shots. Because this is a shoe that Jordan hit the shot on against Cleveland in the playoffs. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Cleveland Cavaliers, Michael. 
Michael Jordan hits it at the foul line. So it's like over the years, the name has varied, it's changed. But let's go ahead and get into the shoe. As y'all can see, predominantly black shoe for the most part. I feel like they didn't necessarily go to the 90, I mean the 89 rendition of the shoe. This is more like the 1999 version of it. But as y'all can see on the bottom, you have red Nike. You had that gray cement color. You had the red pop-up stars. You had the red heel. You also had the white. You had the white insole. I mean, inner of the outsole. Had the white midsole, which you can see that visible air bubble, which transitioned over from the Air Jordan Three. You had that black. You had that back black violon on along the top as well. You have cement gray peeking through on the heel on this uh peak right here and uh stability here i'm sorry but um the thing about this shoe as far as this is concerned like people for the notorious for cracking right here sore threes and sore uh sore r nines they're all notorious for cracking specifically in this area right here Y'all can see that right here, but the paint they use on it, this looks like a paint that's gonna really last over time because it used to be really glossy right here, especially on the 2012 version. But um, as y'all can see right here, you have black netting, you have the rubber wings right here, you have the gray, you have the gray crowns on here as well. And the reason that they have all these holes here is that you're supposed to have a versatile arrangement of ways to lace your laces through all these loops right here. Like I think they said over, I forgot the exact number, but it was a big number. They say you should be able to lace these laces as much as you want on there. Now I'm gonna probably do a comparison between the material on here and as y'all can see, this is new buck on the material. All the, all the OGs are supposed to be going specifically to the original or close. The originals did have new book. It wasn't suede or anything like that. So don't expect no wild, wild quality out of these. Uh, also on the shoe as well. You have black laces. You have the extended four tongue. You have a red jump man, flight and white. Black background. The tag looks good on here. Like this is probably a, one of the better tags that I've seen on the, on the Air Jordan four tongue. Let's see what else we got. We got got an inner with a black Nike logo in red. You have a gray sock liner. You have that rubber. You have that rubber pull tab, and you have the Nike Air on the back and cement gray. And the big gripe is how it's off centered. I mean, it's not a big deal for me personally. And you also have the OG Nike hang tag in plastic. Not that uh, rubber <clears throat> acrylic kind of like tag that we've been, we've grown accustomed with with the fours. Uh, but like I said, I have no real gripes over the four. Oh yeah, on the medial, same thing. White, black, midsole going across the whole, across the whole shoe. And like I said, there's not really much to really go over on the shoe, man. Like if we, I've done a review on the four, I've done a review on plenty of them. But uh, let's let's get into the materials. Give me one second. Okay, I wanted to compare these two shoes right here. As y'all can see, this is the OG. This is the this is the Raptor Four. Take this out too. All right. As y'all can see on the old on the Raptor Fours, same price point was 200 But as y'all can see, they put a very, very, very short hair suede on here. As opposed to putting new buck on these. And just like the originals and the 1999, it was new buck. 2012 kind of had like a more of a suede on there as well. Just some very, very subtle differences in the material, as y'all can see there, even down to the let me see even the lining 
the lining on here is a little bit different. Look at that cement gray. Look at the material on the inside of this as well. Both of them are a little bit different. Even down to the to the crowns a little bit. Like even the crowns have a little difference of shape on them as well, if you can see that. Uh, tags, like I said, doesn't come with the tag like this on the OGs, comes with this plastic tag. All the way down to, like I said, other than that, like I said, they're, I'm gonna just say this, the material feels better on these than it does these. Not even gonna front on that. But, I mean, you know, Jordan Brand gotta give us, they gotta skimp and they gotta appease everybody like they're supposed to. But, I mean, little gripes that just, I don't know, it makes it underwhelms you a little bit. But yeah, but like I said, man, I'm definitely glad to have this particular shoe in the collection for sure, for sure. Uh, I did manage to hit three pairs. <clears throat> Let the other two go for retail. Wasn't really nothing, nothing major on that. Like, this wasn't a shoe I was necessarily banking on. You know, I know I could have got more for it. It's not one of those shoes that I was really banking on. I got my priorities kind of set on some other things as of right now. But, um... Definitely a dope shoe. Is it a shoe worth tripling it up on? Double it tripling it up? Absolutely. But um, as far as like restocks are concerned, I know they had two restocks probably today. I think two restocks today. There might be one later on this week. But uh, I think people are gonna be have more of their attention focused on probably the Cactus Jacks, the SB ones, and uh, uh, damn, what else is releasing? And Mother's Day gift. And guys, if you if you <laughs> look, if you're spending money on your shoes, please, 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 please. I'm being I'm being dead serious. Please buy your mothers some gifts for Mother's Day. Remember Mother's Day is coming up this week. Please take care of your baby mamas. <laughs> if y'all on good terms, get your baby mama something. Help your kids get some your baby mamas a gift. I'm being all honestly serious about that, man. Don't, 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 don't neglect you. Don't neglect your mother or your children. Don't neglect your mom. Show love to the moms. Shouts out to the moms out there. But again, man, like I said, those shoe, definitely a good collection piece. If you have, you got to have the OG in your, in your collection, man. I'm just being all the way real about that, man. But as always, I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I got another unboxing for y'all. Uh, probably shoot that one tomorrow. Definitely, definitely appreciate y'all. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media platforms. And they will all be linked in the description below. And I am JC Baby, Jeezy from the Big Easy. And I'm out. You did.